Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and today I have something really cool for everybody. I'm going to give you a tutorial and overview on the new search your Gmail in Google search feature that Google has launched. So instead of having to go to Gmail to search your emails and to Google.com to search anything else, you can do it all in one place at Google.com. And this test is actually in a field trial right now and I received an email this morning that says that I'm ready to go and I started using it so I'm going to show you how it works um, and I'll also show you how you can enable this for yourself as well so uh, I hope it helps and enjoy. Okay, so uh, before I show you exactly how it works, I want to show you this website right here. This is where you can sign up for the field trial. You can see I have the option to leave the field trial because I'm already participating. But if you just go to google.com slash experimental slash gmail field trial, you can go ahead and sign up. And like I said, I signed up last week and I just got the email today. So I don't know, it might take a week for you to actually be able to start using it or maybe they just started rolling it out to everybody today so you could start it right away. Um, so either way, uh, that's how you sign up. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works. So I'm going to go to google.com. Um, in order for it to work, you need to be signed into your Google account, obviously. And you need to have your personalized search results turned on. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you can just search Google for turn on personalized search results and the first link will show you how to do that. Uh, but once you have that all set up, um, you can just go ahead and start searching Google. So I'm just going to search Google for social media. And you'll see that over here on the left, I get all my normal social media results. I get the people related to social media over here on the right, some advertisements. And up here at the top, it has my Gmail results. Now, when I first heard about this feature, I was a little bit worried because I said, well, what if I'm searching Google with my friends or a family member and I've got some personal emails that I don't want everybody to see? Well, you can see that in order to show the results, you actually have to click this link, which is good. So if you're just searching Google, not everybody's going to see all your emails if they're looking over your shoulder. Um, however, if you do want to see your Gmail results, you can just click this Show Results button. And you can see you get a small little panel over here with the sender of the email and the subject. Um, now, one of the things that I don't really like about this is I don't really get that much information from this box. Um, it would be nice if it maybe, maybe was a little bit bigger or maybe it showed the sender on top and then the subject so I could see the whole thing. Um, so maybe that's something that they'll experiment with a little bit. Uh, but if I want to view one of these emails, all I have to do is click on it and you'll see that it opens up, um, not in my Gmail, this is kind of a new page that Google has created and here's the whole email um, with images and everything. Um, so I could, you know, this is just a newsletter um, and there's also this link at the top that allows me to load this message in Gmail so it would open up in my Gmail account so I could reply or, or do something like that. Um, so I'm going to go back here. I want to show you a couple other features. One of the other cool features is it also searches your contacts. So um, I don't have any contacts named social media so it doesn't show any for that search. But if I just go ahead and I search myself, you'll see that I have my Gmail results up here in the top right and it also pulls my Google Plus profile. So anybody that I have in my circles on Google Plus or in my contacts list in Gmail is also going to display over here. So you see my contact information. It shows my last two Google Plus posts, um, how many people have me in their circles. Um, so that's kind of a cool feature too if you're looking for somebody's phone number, or email address, instead of having to go to Gmail, find an email from them or search your contacts, you can just go straight to Google, search it in the normal Google search box and your contacts will come up on the right side of the page. Um, another thing that I noticed while I was doing this is that if you want to see your Gmail search results in the main results over here, if you just type Gmail before whatever you're searching for, so if I type Gmail in social media, you'll notice that my Gmail results show up over here. So it, it's definitely um, kind of a cool feature. You can now search specifically Gmail by doing that. Uh, and I do think that you see maybe a little bit more of the subject by doing it this way. It's still not that big of a snippet that I'd like to see. So again, hopefully they'll improve that. And then the one last thing that I want to show you is that you can search your your upcoming plane, air, air trips, your traveling plans, um, plane flights specifically. Um, I actually have a plane flight coming up here next week. So if I just search um, flights, Gmail flights, you'll see that on the right side over here it says upcoming flights and it's actually pulling information from conf email confirmations that I've had and it tells me um, where I'm leaving from, the airport I'm going to, and then I could actually, uh, the flight number, and then I could actually view the email that that confirmation comes from. 
Um, so that's definitely a really cool feature. Sorry, my phone's going off here. Let me just silent that. Um, <clears throat> so it's definitely something to play around with. Some of you might be concerned about the privacy aspect. Um, I've already accepted that we are losing our privacy of everything we do online anyway, so I try not to keep really, really personal things in my email and, and just on my computer at all. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but it's definitely something that's going to be improved upon and uh, something to look forward to. So I hope this helps and I hope you learned something and check it out. It, it's a pretty cool feature. It, it's going to save you some time if you're doing a lot of Gmail searches and Google searches all at the same time. So I'm going to sign out for now. Again, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.